One of the things that I was most excited for when I got the Blasphemer was being able to free up my exotic slot, being able to use a kinetic slug shotgun that wasn't the chaperone, so it wasn't exotic, thus freeing up my exotic slot so I can use something else. And the first thing that kind of came to my head and I was excited to really try and use and almost use as my main weapon was the Sunshot. Now the Sunshot generated quite a bit of hype I want to say when Bungie finally announced that they were going to give it some sort of a buff and the buff was in my opinion a small one is just a magazine increase a lot of people said that they just wanted a magazine size increase I personally don't think this changes much about the weapon but we're gonna talk about that in a second so now it has a 12 bullet magazine which is much more standard with a lot of other 150 rpm hand cannons so although the Sunshot magazine size buff did generate a good amount of hype and people were excited for it before Shadow Keep launched, I wasn't totally sold on it at the time. I didn't think this was going to solve anything for the weapon. I think that Sunshot, at least in my experience, had a history of feeling rather inconsistent, at least compared to a lot of other hand cannons. It just didn't perform at the same level for me. But at this time pre Shadow Keep, I actually made some pretty massive oversights and overlooked some big factors. Hand cannons, of course, were changing, so the damage drop off and range of hand cannons has changed drastically since pre Shadow Keep, and the recoil of hand cannons has been scaled differently to, in my opinion, feel a lot more consistent. And this did a lot to affect Sunshot, and this meant a lot for Sunshot because Sunshot is one of the only 150 RPM hand cannons, other than the curated spare rations, as far as I know, to have explosive rounds, which will hopefully maintain a better 3 tap range and help you with damage drop off especially since it's so severe now as well as not only that but of course with the recoil animation changes to the 140 and 150 hand cannons this could be the opportunity that sunshine needed to perform more consistently but now that shadow keeps been out for a while and i've put a good amount of time into sunshot did these things hold up did these oversights of mine end up being impactful changes that allowed sunshot to thrive I think a little bit, yes, I think that the recall change is the biggest thing that allowed it to be more consistent, but unfortunately there was still a good amount of problems. But I'm vastly undecided whether I actually like this weapon or not, and honestly I'm pretty confused when it comes to it. Perhaps one of the most confusing things about Sunshot is you can take a look at the weapon and see that it has phenomenal base stats all around, just really great base stats. 80 impact, 74 range, 68 stability, 92 handling, 75 reload, a 12 bullet magazine now, so just insane base stats across the board in nearly every category, including the categories that really mean the most, being range and stability. The only one area that lacks on this weapon compared to other 150 hand cannons is the aim assist stat, and we'll get into that later. It's got a 60 aim assist stat. The reason this is confusing is because when you put on the weapon, I think that it's noticeable. I think the stats are noticeable in a way, but there's still some sort of weird inconsistency with this weapon that I can't quite wrap my head around. Firstly, let's talk about the range. So it has 74 range, which is actually the same as the Not Forgotten, so that's pretty good for a 150 hand cannon. Even though it does have a lower aim assist value, this range stat should ensure that it's going to be holding the highest aim assist value possible for longer ranges than perhaps some other hand cannons with a lower range stat. However, in terms of damage drop off, this stat doesn't mean so much anymore, unfortunately. Despite being pretty high on the spectrum for a 150 RPM hand cannon, Sunshot can only go up to 27 meters without experiencing any damage drop off. So at 27 meters, it starts seeing some sort of damage drop off. And despite having explosive rounds, it only maintains a three tap range of one meter more at 28 meters. So although I'll always advocate for a higher range stat and I do think it's still very valuable, it's not quite as valuable anymore and it's not as impactful as perhaps it once was on this hand cannon and especially compared to other hand cannons. The Jack Queen King can maintain damage drop off up until 26 meters which is pretty much just a 1 meter difference from this hand cannon and it's only got a range stat of 50. I want to say the stability is one of the most noticeable things on this hand cannon. I'd say it's pretty high considering its range stat that's paired with it for a 150 RPM hand cannon. And again with the recoil animation changes and considering it has a 100 recoil direction, it feels very very good, incredibly smooth and very stable. This again to me was the most noticeable thing about this weapon. The incredibly high reload and handling were also pretty noticeable as well. But but again, despite these things, when I use this hand cannon, it feels wildly inconsistent. 
I noticed the stats, I noticed the stability, I noticed the recall changes, but the shot registration for whatever reason feels inconsistent. The range is less significant, so that stat, even though it's higher, doesn't mean quite as much. And unfortunately, explosive rounds aren't actually really worth it on 150 RPM hand cannons. On 150 RPM hand cannons, it doesn't seem like explosive rounds really extend the three tap range. Myself and Cami tested this because we thought it was maybe a sunshot only thing, but he went out and got the curated spare rations and we noticed the same trend. It doesn't really extend the three tap range or do anything for damage drop off. Maybe there's a range where you can four or five tap and other hand cannons can't, but I don't think that's exactly the most advantageous thing. It would seem like it's actually the little bit of additional damage that the 140 RPM hand cannons have that allows it to work with explosive rounds that gives them just enough to extend their three tap range like we've seen on the Better Devils with max range, range finder, and explosive rounds, giving it the best three tap range in the game currently as far as I know. So unfortunately, that's another thing about the Sunshot that on face value you'd think is a really nice quality, however, isn't the most significant thing in practice. Because of the flinch factor you get with explosive rounds though, I do think it's still a good quality. It's pretty jarring dealing with an explosive rounds weapon when you're getting flinched by one, definitely more so annoying than being shot by a normal weapon of course, or even a high cal weapon. Now, even though some of these features aren't as significant as I'd like them to be, I do want to go back to the fact that I think Sunshot feels good. I notice the stability. I notice the handling. I notice those good stats all around. However, when I'm using it, there seems to be some weird inconsistency with shot registration or shots landing or headshots landing where it feels like sometimes I'm firing blanks and I don't know what the cause of this is. Or maybe I might know what this is and we're going to get into it, but it feels odd. It feels off to have a weapon that I think feels good, that the stats tell me that it's a good weapon, and I think in my head I want to say that this is a good weapon, but when I'm using it, it gets a little annoying dealing with some of these inconsistencies that I feel like I'm running into. Maybe it's something with explosive rounds that somehow hinders headshot capability, or maybe the weapon doesn't deal with flinch very well, or maybe it's something having to do with the recoil still being somehow inconsistent, or perhaps we have to be aiming lower than we anticipate. Or it could be this, here's one thing that a lot of other 150 RPM hand cannons have and have in very generous values compared to Sunshot that could be making the difference and that's aim assist. Sunshot has a pretty lower than average aim assist value with 60 like I mentioned than other 150 RPM hand cannons. In fact, I actually don't mind this. I kind of like this. I would like to see the aim assist stat on 150 RPM hand cannons toned down because I think they're quite forgiving, especially when we compare this to things like the spare rations with 92 base aim assist and the Jack Queen King with 96 aim assist, including its sights bonus. And even things like Rose with a 90 base aim assist. So considering I think that most people would say those legendary hand cannons I listed out feel more consistent than Sunshot, what's the only tangible difference we have to go on that we know for a fact is there and it looks like it's the aim assist stat. It's possible and I've been thinking about this recently and especially with this kind of a comparison and look at Sunshot that perhaps aim assist is just the most influential stat in how a weapon feels. I'm not saying by any means is it the only thing that dictates how a weapon feels but I certainly think it's one of the biggest factors in terms of how consistent a weapon feels when we're using it. And evidently as Sunshot is lacking this, I really don't know how to feel about Sunshot. Again, I want to say that it hits all the marks, great stats, it feels good when I'm using it, it just has some sort of inconsistent shot registration or inconsistency when I'm trying to land shots or headshots on a target that really deters me from using it. So again, I'm really not sure how I feel about Sunshot and I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to make up my mind with so many things that look great about it, but in practice it doesn't always feel the greatest. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So that's all for my discussion on Sunshot, I hope you enjoyed it. As a quick shameless plug, if you are interested in G Fuel products or perhaps trying G Fuel products, right now my code Drewski, which you can use at checkout for a discount, is 30% off up until the 18th. So if you were ever interested in trying G Fuel or you wanted to buy some more, 
you can use my code, get some money off, and of course, it does support me as a content creator. Also, if you'd like to see more content like this video, you can check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Drewskis, links in the description. I'm getting pretty close to 20k followers, so your support is very greatly appreciated. Anyways, again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.